natural spaces to hike, visit, and just relax. We've lost many of these places. But more and more, we're recognizing the value of these areas and are working to restore or conserve them. In 2012, in Oregon alone, there were nearly 500 projects where we restored fish passage, enhanced riparian areas, or improved wetlands. This is Duck Lake, a series of ponds created by installing cross dikes, then used for duck hunting. It once connected naturally to the Multnomah Channel and Columbia River just north of Portland, Oregon. The Scaboos Bay Watershed Council is working to enhance this area as natural wetlands and restore its connection to the main river channel. Hi, I'm Pat Welly. I'm one of three chicks in a drone and I'm here to help the Watershed Council improve the way the Duck Lake area connects to the main channel. We're going to do that with our drone, which gets a bird's eye view of the ponds, the wetlands, and how the water flows through the system. I'm Chaz McCoy. I'm the coordinator for the Scappoose Bay Watershed Council. Uh, today we're out at uh, the Duck Lake wetland. Uh, it's about a 70 acre um, wetland on three different properties, part of that being the Oregon Parks and Rec Department property. Um, and as the name implies, it's uh, it's Historical use was as um, duck lakes to, uh, there's a series of cross dikes that run through the project property to create um, ponded areas to attract ducks to hunt them. Um, and so I don't think they've been hunting ducks out here since the 80s, uh, but on the Oregon Park site, there's a large wetland. Um, it's probably about a five acre wetland, which is pretty good sized wetland. And we're looking at different ways we can enhance or restore the wetland on the parks property as well as on this private property there's a, a creek called Joy Creek that runs through a portion of the property, connects with Multnomah Channel, and we're looking at the feasibility of reconnecting or at least enhancing the connection between Joy Creek and Multnomah Channel. And that's where this will be handy, yeah. uh, flying the drone over it to, dis to determine where we, we've got a sense of where it is now, but just to also try to capture some of the land features that might suggest where it should be. We're three chicks and a drone. Three women interested in drone technology, conservation, and how one can support the other. Veronica, Deb, and Pat. We're learning to use our drone to capture images and video of natural areas. This is the DJI Phantom 2. We have a brushless gimbal, and we're holding a GoPro Hero 3 camera. The system is easy to operate. We like to think of it as our friendly drone because we can get out there quickly and take high quality video and pictures. We are careful to fly our drone safely. We check the distance of the site location from any airports. We always have both the pilot and a spotter and fly in safe conditions with permission to fly the area. At Duck Lake, we're creating a composite aerial image and shooting video to follow Joy Creek along the dike. There are many conservation issues where drones can have a significant impact. We can document changes over time, measure plant growth, and see how water flows through areas. Three chicks and a drone hope to use our Phantom 2 drone to support the folks who are working to protect and enhance these beautiful areas.